Hey, yeah, what's going on, guys? Uh, let's do this problem right here. So the question right here asking. Okay, the question is asking when the, when two point charges are uh, uh, distance d part. The electric force that each one feels from the other has magnitude of F, right? And in order to make this force twice as strong, the distance would have to be changed to which one? So that's the question. So let's uh, see what is the relationship between force and the distance. So in the electric field, we can write a force is equal to K Q square over D square. So here we are only dealing with force in the distance. So we know that force is uh, inversely proportional to 1 over d square. So let's see how we can double the force. So they are asking to force twice as strong, strong, right? So that's the question. So if I create an equation like let's say f1, d, d1 is the initial condition. f1, d1. So 1 over d1 square. If, it's, if this is the initial condition. And if I take the second condition, we want to double this force twice as strong. So let's multiply this one by 2. 2f1 is equal to 1 over d2 square. So the, we have to find in what distance this force is going to be doubled, right? So if we find out the d2, that's going to give us the answer. So what I can do if, if this is equation 1 and if this is equation 2, I can divide each other to cancel, cancel these f1s. So let's do that. So let's divide 1 by 2. So that's going to give us f1 over 2f1. And that is equal to what? f1 is 1 over d1 square. And f2 is... So this, this is going to be flip around. Like if you divide this one by that one, so it's going to be d2 square over d1 square. Right here, f1, f1 cancels. And we are trying to find the d2, so equal to. So here we have d2 square is equal to d1 square over 2. And if we square root both sides, this is going to be d2 square is going to be d1 over square root of 2. Therefore, the answer for this one is going to be d over square root of 2. So that is the answer. Let's see the next one. Uh, the next question is asking a positive point charge Q is fixed on a very large horizontal friction as a tabletop. The second positive point charge Q is released from rest near the stationary charge and is free to move. Which statement best describes the motion of the Q after it's released? Okay, so they have these options right here. So as it moves further, speed will keep increasing it acceleration is zero and so on so so let's happen what happened to the speed so we have to see what's going to happen to the, what's going to happen to this speed as the distance increases because we know when we have a positive charge and if we release a positive charge right here it's not going to go toward this it's going to go away from this one right so it's repulse and as we move away, the distance is going to be keep increasing. So that's the relationship we are going to find. So, so to find the relationship for this one, we can use the conservation of energy equation. So conservation of energy equation is basically saying that the potential energy difference is equal to kinetic energy. So if I write potential energy equation, like initial potential energy minus K Q1 Q2 over like final minus initial rates so that's that's the difference so final is r2 r2 square minus minus uh, k q1 q2 over r1 square is equal to half mv square and here we are dealing with v square and the distance because we won't know what what's going to happen to the distance as the uh, i mean what's going to happen to the v velocity as the distance increases. So to do that I can rearrange this formula and if you rearrange this you will get this formula. This is uh, v is going to be 2k q1 q2 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2. So this is the for formula you will derive after you 
rearrange everything right so this is the formula you did so this is our initial distance and this is the final distance so as the distance moves away this is the only thing that's going to change this one always remain the same so let's see what happens if this distance increase so here the situation is going to be increasing because this not going toward this charge is going away from this charge so this one increasing this r2 distance is increasing if the denominator is increasing this whole value this 1 over r2 is going to be decreasing right because if you divide by a big number as a number by a big number as the number get bigger in the denominator this number becomes smaller so if this is smaller the other things will become bigger because if we are subtracting a small number therefore the other things going to be bigger so velocity increases as the distance increases velocity increases so the relationship is r2 increases velocity increases therefore the question is asking which statement best describe the motion of q after it's released so the velocity is going to be keep increasing so let's look at the answers first as it moves further and further from q its sp speed will keep increasing this sounds true so this is good this is right and let's check the other one its acceleration is zero just after it's released not true and as it moves further and further q speed speed will decrease not true because we found out that it will increase and its speed will be the greater just after it's released uh, that doesn't seem true so because it's not going to be great after it's released it's going to be great after it's move away and away as it move further and further it's going to be increasing after it released like it's going to be starting from minimum and it's going to go increasing as the distance increases right so this is also not true and let's look at the last one as it moves further and further from q its acceleration will keep increasing mm, velocity keep increasing acceleration acceleration i think remains the same it's a constant acceleration and this is the true part right here so the part, right answer is this one as it moves further and further from q its speed will keep increasing and that is the answer for the second one i hope you guys like this video see you next time